we begin our tour near the North Pole of the Moon. The crater Plato is on the right. The ring of mountains at the center is the Alps mountain range. And just to the left of that is a diagonal streak, and that's the Alpine Valley. As we move down, we are nearing the northern limb of the moon. The largest crater seen here is W. Bond, and just below it are two craters, Barrow and Goldschmidt. Located between them is a rugged rise that's, that's causing very dark, well-defined shadows. As we move south, we get a better look at the Alpine Valley. Just coming into uh, view. It's 110 miles long. And on the left, we can see two large craters. The lower crater is Aristoteles. It's a lunar impact crater, and notice how it's distorted into a hexagonal shape. And above Aristoteles is a crater Eudoxus. The eastern crater wall is, is terraced, and we can see that it's more brightly lit than that of Aristoteles. It's higher than Aristoteles. It's 14,500 feet high, same as Pike's Peak. As we move around the terminator of the moon, we can see that there is a basaltic lava flow called Lacus Mortis, or the Lake of Death. At its center is a crater called Berg, and its rills can be seen here. As we move south, the lunar mare we see is the Sea of Serenity, just coming into view. Now, this is one eye of the man in the moon that we see with our naked eye. Now, both Luna 21 and Apollo 17 landed near the eastern border of the Sea of Serenity. The crater we're seeing on the left here is Posidonius. It has two small craters, Posidonius A and Posidonius B, as marked. The small crater that's just coming into field of view now in the Sea of Serenity is the crater called Bessel. There it is there. It has a large white, white ray crossing it that originates from the crater Tycho. Now to the left of it is a large wrinkle, and that's called the Serpentine Ridge. As we move to the left, you can see that the terrain becomes very rugged. And in these shadows is the site of the Apollo 17 moon landing. It's just south of the crater Lithro in a small valley. Now as we continue to move south, near the cape off the western rim of the Sea of Serenity is the crater called Plinius. Its central peak is seen here brightly illuminated. It's 10,500 feet deep. Now as we move across the Sea of Tranquility, there's a bright feature that's going to come into view. It's going to be in the upper left-hand corner. And the feature looks like a hand that's formed into a claw. There it is there, just coming in now. Now, to the right of it is a crater called Maskelin. The Apollo 11 landing site is located just to the right of that crater, shown here. And Apollo 11 flew just above the Maskelin crater before its landing. Contact right. Okay, engine stop. Houston, uh, Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. Roger, Twain. Tranquility, we copy you on the ground. You got a bunch of guys about to turn blue. We're breathing again. Thanks a lot. Next, we're getting into a very rugged terrain area called the Descartes Highlands. There's an interesting feature here. It looks like a Christmas tree or an Indian arrowhead. Do you see it there? But this is also the site of the Apollo 16 moon landing. The Apollo 16 is one that had the lunar rover, and that lunar rover is still there on, on the moon's surface. The large crater on the left here is Theophilus, and it's 14,000 feet deep. It has three summits. 
You can see its inside wall is very terraced. Above it is the crater called Cyrillus, named after the St. Cyril of Alexandria. It also has three central peaks. They're not as big as, as those of the crater below us. And did you see that square crater there? Isn't that odd? It has a central peak. I think it's interesting. And above the crater Cyrillus is the crater called Katharina. It has an interior peak and it's casting a triangular shadow. As we move south, we see a long escarpment that's a cliff, as seen here. It's called Rupus Alte. It's casting deep shadows in this view. As we continue to move south, you'll see increasingly large number of craters and very small craters. In fact, here we see five craters bunched up inside one crater called Rabbi Levi. The largest crater seen in the upper right here is Marolycus. It has two central peaks and a few craterlets across its floor. The two craters at the top of this view, just in the shadowy area now, are Pediscus and Hommel. Now they're greatly uh, shadowed in this view and it gives you an idea of, of their 10,000 foot height. The left edges are well illuminated and uh, the upper crater, Hommel, you can see the terracing very well here. It has a central peak. It's not very well illuminated. Once in a while it, you might see it just illuminated a little bit right there. Now as we near the south pole of the moon you'll notice that on this side of the moon because it's fully illuminated the craters are not as well defined as they are along the terminator of the moon. I wanted to say a little bit about how this movie was made. It was made on November 6th, 2009 at 10.40 p.m. Eastern Time. And the, it, it was made using the Microsoft LifeCam Cinema HD camera that I modified for astronomy use. I have detailed modification instructions on my website if you're interested. Uh, the LifeCam was placed in my 20-inch Starmaster telescope inside the focuser so it was at prime focus and the moon was was rather low it was only 22 degrees in elevation and as you can see here all this waviness and blurring that's going on that is a sign of poor seeing the skies just were not very steady while I was taking this moving but sometimes you get a brief moment and you'll see a little more detail than at, at others. Now the moon is just a few days after full moon, so it's at 77% phase. And I was taking this movie in full high-def resolution at 15 frames per second. I later was able to figure out how to get 30 frames per second frame rate with my webcam and computer. So now we're going to go back rather jerkedly to where we started our tour. So hold on, enjoy the ride and the rest of the view. And we are going to get back to the crater Plato, seen right there, the Alps mountain range, and the Alpine Valley. Hope you enjoyed the tour.